Hello, Internet. Merlin's Adventures. Let's talk about wood, uh, wooden arrows, that is. And uh, well, if you know me, then you know I tend to favour the more uh, trad carbon or straight up carbon arrow, but that's only because it's easy to replace and you don't have to put as much effort into it, especially when you're making them yourself. Uh, but I will always love and I will always have a soft spot in my heart for wooden arrows. And I don't think you can beat shooting wooden arrows out of a traditional bow. There's just something so nice about putting those two together. It's almost quite quite magical in a way. And that's why I wanted to speak to you today about um, about about these which are the new timber creek arrows that we've got uh, that we've got coming out now there's four types of arrow that we've got uh, we've got the the youth arrow we've got the the basic arrow we've got the premium arrow and the medieval arrow and we'll, we'll go through and we'll talk about uh, each uh, each arrow in turn but I just want to talk about a couple of things that, that sort of is across the board with all these arrows that sort of ties them all together nicely. The first thing, uh, and that I'm very pleased with, is the is the material that the uh, that the arrow is made out of itself. And now, when it comes to making arrows, or, or it comes to wooden arrows in general, I think that the good smelling poster boy of traditional uh, wooden arrows is normally a POC or Port Orford cedar. Now I openly admit that that wood smells absolutely fantastic and I love working with it. But I've, I feel, I mean, I, I know a lot of people that do use spruce, but I, I feel um, people do tend to pick it over spruce and I think spruce gets overlooked um, quite a bit. And I think spruce is a very nice material for making arrows with. Uh, I think it's a little bit more forgiving and it's, it's, it's got, I find it's got a little bit more spring to it, but that's, that's me. Everyone has different um, sort of experiences with wooden arrows. But what we've uh, used to make these particular arrows is Siberian spruce. And the reason why we've um, used Siberian spruce and the reason why it's so special is because it grows in such a cold climate, it grows really, really slowly. So what happens is you get very small, tight um, growth rings rather than uh, elongated, sort of longer growth rings that you get with uh, wood that's grown in warmer climates. So because, it's, um, because it grows so slowly, I think it makes for a, a straighter, uh, tougher arrow. So that's the first thing that I'm really pleased about with these arrows. The second thing, and it's again across all, all the all the uh, arrows, right through from the, the junior youth arrow right through to the medieval arrow, is the fact that it's it's whipped uh, and bound at the leading edge of the feather. Uh, one, it looks really nice. Uh, again, it gives it a really nice traditional feel. And two, it protects your hand, especially if you're shooting um, off your hand. It's uh, I've, I've seen some nasty injuries where that lead edge of the feathers dug into someone's hand and it's, it's pretty horrific. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time. It, uh, it's a very rare, uh, a rare occurrence, but it, it does happen and that does, does eliminate, uh, eliminate that and it does look very nice as well. They've all got a screw on 100 grain point. Um, these are actually screwed and glued on. So if you want to, um, I mean, all, all the, um, well, certainly the, the basic, the premium and the medieval arrow are all 32 inches long. So if you wanted to, to shorten them down, you just apply a little bit of heat to that, not to the arrow shaft, make sure it's to the point and that's gonna screw off. You can shorten the arrow, retaper it, dab of uh, hot melt again and screw that back on to the shaft and, and you're good to go. So yeah, it's it's the Siberian spruce. They're all, they're all whipped and they've all got a 100 grain uh, point. They've all got a lovely uh, coating as well. They've all got this really nice gloss coating which really sort of uh, gives it like a, a flawless uh, look. They, uh, no, I'm really pleased with the way these arrows have turned out. They, uh, they, are, they are sort of very nice looking uh, wooden arrows. So what we'll do, we'll look at the, uh, each, each of these arrows now and uh, we'll just, just sort of tell you a little bit about them as we go. But, uh, so first up we've got the, the youth arrow. Now these are cut a little bit shorter than the other arrows, these are only 27 and a half inches. Again, still got a 100 grain point on the front so you can, you can shorten that or you can even change out the point should you wish to. But uh, the diameter of these arrows are 5 16th of an inch so they're a little bit thinner. They've got a uh, 3 inch shield feather, there's no cock feather so you're going to have to use the indicator. But, um, but yeah, they are a really nice, tough, uh, nice youth arrow that, uh, that's going to suit. Uh, I mean, this, the rough spine range of these of the youth arrows, um, they're, they're within about sort of 25 to 30, I think, actually. Um, so that they'll suit a, a wide range of, of, of 
youth uh, youth bows or low poundage bows or people with uh, with shorter draw lengths. But uh, but yeah, so we've got the the youth arrow there. So they're they're a nice little uh, addition. Oh, the other thing, all the arrows come in uh, these really nice uh, Timber Creek boxes. Um, you buy them in either uh, half dozens or dozens. Obviously, a dozen will come straight in the box. Um, half dozens not not so much but uh, but yeah there's a nice little box so you, you can store them uh, nice and flat when you're not uh, not using them moving on we've got the um the the basic uh, arrow and now for, for a basic arrow it's actually a really good looking arrow it's got that lovely glossy uh, coating to it again it's whipped but this time we've got a um a four inch shield cut feather with um uh, i think there's yeah there, there's a slight uh, helical twist on those like i say all the feathers um on these are, are, are right wing and there's a little little way you can tell if you've got an arrow and you want to know whether it's left or right wing there's a little cheat you can if you look look down the back of the arrow um you've got if if it's a left wing feather uh, the quill will form an l shape as you look down the back of the arrow if it's the other side if the, the quill is to the left of the um of the feather then that means it's a right wing feather so if you're looking at it and it looks like an l it's left wing if you're looking at it and it's a reverse L, it's right wing. It's just a little bit of a tidbit there for you. But again, these these are uh, pretty much the same. They've got a 100 grain screw on point um, whipped against Siberian spruce. Now, these um, basic arrows, they, they are available in two different diameters. You've got 5 16th of an inch and uh, 11 32. So you've got the two two options there. And spine ranges, they're, I think they're available between um, 25 to 30 all the way up to... 55 to 60 I think and uh, they go all the way up to uh, to that so you've got you've got plenty of choice uh, when looking at your arrows and that's across the board with the with the um, the basic the, the premium uh, uh, as well that, that, get, that goes up from from I think 30 to 35 all the way up to 60 to 65 I think um, but I will put a link in the description so you can uh, you can see for yourself the different uh, different options you can pick from uh, now what makes the premium arrow and I think this might be my favorite um, what makes this different to the uh, the basic arrow they're essentially the same the same but there's just a little bit more de decoration gone into it they're still they're still the same Siberian spruce um, it looks like it's crested at the back, dipped and crested, but it's not. That's the actual uh, naked wood underneath, although it's coated. It's the actual front of the arrow that's been uh, that's been stained to give it that uh, really nice look. Again, all the arrows have got this really nice Timber Creek uh, logo stamped on there. And the other thing which uh, I do really like about these arrows, and it makes life a lot easier when you're, you're sort of picking them out for people, is that it's got the um, it's got the spine on the. Uh, on the actual arrow as well these are marked up as uh 45 50s so it uh it just makes them a lot easier when you're <laughs> you know, sifting through a box of arrows you make sure you're going to get the right ones um these have um uh, the get thing that makes the premium a little bit nicer you've got a barred uh cock feather again the 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 basic and the premiums are available in different colors. I think the, the, the basic are available in um red and black blue and black and green and black and I think the premiums are available in orange and gray and I think there is another color but we're still waiting on uh, on those to arrive uh, but uh, but that is a really nice example of the uh, the Timber Creek uh, premium arrow I really like that cresting I'm a big fan of uh, of cresting but yeah that's a that's a really beautiful looking arrow there and that uh, that that finish is really really nice I really like a glossy finish on an arrow that uh, that is lovely and again you've got a really nice uh, helical twist um, on that feather there so that should fly really really nicely Okay, moving on to the uh, the medieval arrow. Now, this I think is a very special looking arrow indeed. Um, you've got uh, the thing that makes it different is you've got a, a full length um, medieval cut bar, three medieval cut barred feathers on there, whipped at the front and at the back, and bound all the way up the uh, the arrow shaft there, um, giving it a real sort of authentic medieval look. Um, they're self knocked as well, so there's no plastic knocks on these. They're, they're self knocked. But they're reinforced with a good wedge of uh, of my carter in there, sort of adding uh, a little bit of strength to the uh, medieval arrow, making them a little bit uh, a little bit tougher, a little bit more hard wearing. Again, you've got the screw on 100 grain point, but uh, but yeah, that that is the um, the, the medieval arrow. Again, a, a wide range of poundage is available. Um, again, from I think it's from 30, 35s all the way up to 60, 65s. But like I say, I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you can uh, you can look for yourselves and and, and you'll be able to find the right arrow uh, that fits uh, that fits your style but uh, but yeah that has been the uh, the timber creek 
um, wooden arrows that I just wanted to, to briefly briefly show you that um, that if they're not already here they should be here fairly soon uh, hopefully just in time for Christmas I think arrows always make a nice uh, nice little Christmas gift but, uh, but yeah well I hope you found that useful and uh, it's good to be back and uh, take care shoot straight and I'll see you on the internet bye bye but that's, uh, that was a really nice awesome day so I thought I'd come out bring the grizzly we'll do a video on the grizzly and uh, we'll to keep some people happy and then uh, we'll move I've got wood wooden arrows and uh, I'm very pleased with this one <laughs> I can't say that <laughs> can I say that? I've got wood. Is that? No. <clears throat>